Hello, I'm Claire Louise from BeHealing.com and this is today's tarot for all signs for Sunday, no, Saturday, Saturday the 6th of April 2024. I hope you're doing well. I have a live show three times a week here on YouTube. It's called Psychic Cafe. In there, I give one question readings amongst other things. Um, you can book in for one of those one question readings on my website, BeHealing.com at any time. Find a link for that in the description box below and also up there too. Book in at any time because I do all of the pre book readings right at the start of the next live show and then send you the link to the replay. Or you can come live, you can book while I'm live too, and I'll do it straight away for you. Come along anyway, I'd love to connect in with you, get to know you. Um, in that show, I also give messages for each star sign as well Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, go through all of those too, and do some general tarot too. And we have coffee and we just chat, and it's, it's nice, I really like it. Would love to see you there sometime. I also offer private readings from my website, behealing.com. Find a link for that in the description box below and also up there too. I get those out within 48 hours of you ordering them, often within 24 hours of you ordering them. And book yourself in. There's different types of readings as well. I also do energy healings too. If you want to add one of those on, you can get it for a little bit of a cheaper price. And there's two ways in which to win a private reading with me worth 160 Australian dollars every single month. The first way is by being a subscriber to my channel, clicking like on this video and then leaving a comment. That'll get you one entry in. Do that as many times as you like on all my videos, including my shorts throughout the week, month, and that'll get you many entries in. The second way is by checking my pick a card. I can't speak properly today. <laughs> the second way is by pick, checking my pick a card reads. And if you purchase the deeper dives, those extended readings to those pick a card reads, that'll get you more and that'll get you an entry into the second prize draw. <laughs> Good luck with winning that. Good luck with getting through this video, Claire. Okay, got a lot of cards out. It was distracting me because four cards came out and they came out in two pairs like that. And I was asking which one was right in my mind while I was trying to speak at the same time. Hence me fluffing my words. Um, and first of all, I picked one, then I picked the other and they said, no, it's all of them. So it's all of them. Call forth the waves. We are asking for more. It's a shake-up. It's like asking for a shake-up. It's, it's saying, okay, I want to experience this. Let, let's just shake this up. Make things happen. You know, even if, even if it's going to be uncomfortable, we want this change, a bringer of change. Let's shake it up and bring some change in. That, that is the, you know what, I'm going to tell them how I feel, even though it feels uncomfortable. I'm going to have the courage to do that. Shake it up. It might go bad. It might go good, but I need something to happen. It's that kind of an energy. Transcendence to get over something to dance with joy, make you feel really good. Make you feel really good either way as well, especially if it's something that you haven't been saying to someone. Mm. So we might be being brave today and speaking out on something, how we feel it could be, or, you know, go going into your boss's office and asking for that promotion, kind of just put yourself out there. It's that stuff. It's the, well, it can always go negative. It could, you know, we take a chance, we take a risk, but what's, it's better to do that and to know, isn't it? Than to just sit in the unknown, I think. We've got intuition, using your intuition perhaps to do that too. I think I think you might be brave today or take the helm, be in control of your own ship. Yeah, think about your own path, what it is that you want. People pleasing, you know, not speaking up just to people please, it's not the way to go. It's okay for you to be a bit trouble, to cause a bit of trouble for people, to shake, to rock that boat for people, perhaps to give them some extra work because you've asked for something. It's okay. It's okay for you to take up space. Tell us more. Eight of Pentacles. Could be about being paid for what it is that you do. Paid properly for what it is that you do. This could be about raising your prices, asking for that promotion, asking for a raise, um, confronting your boss as to why you didn't get that pos position that you should have got. You know, sometimes it's just, I remember I worked, worked in corporate in my twenties in IT, in corporate IT. And at the time in the eight, eight nineties, in the nineties, um, there wasn't that many women in IT and uh, the promotions were given to the guys, not to the women. And I, and I remember there was one guy that I worked with. He'd got a promotion and he was so embarrassed. I went, I congratulated him on it and he's like, I'm so embarrassed. You should have had this years ago and you haven't even got it yet. And for me to be promoted before you, he said, it's just so wrong. I said, don't worry about it. I haven't got this, I haven't got the right things between my legs. That's all it is. That's all it is. Now, I, whether that's still true or not, I don't know, but you might be confronting something like that, shaking it up to get paid what it is that you deserve. Nine of Swords, 
anxiety yes i think there could be fear around doing this for sure now it could be eight of pentacles it can be about work it can be about being paid what it is that you deserve but when we when we're looking at things like relationships like whether it's family relationships friendships romantic relationship it's getting back what we deserve right what we can put into a relationship like how good a friend we are we deserve friends that are good friends to us too it's that kind of thing too and so confronting these things yeah cause anxiety for sure knight of pentacles take it slowly one step in front of the other slow and steady wins the race and temperance slow down <laughs> temper yourself uh, especially call forth the waves bring of change you know it could really be heightened feelings today and so tempering ourselves it's not just about having patience it's about calming ourselves down perhaps or dealing with the a surge of emotions a surge of fear or a surge of whatever whatever comes up and just kind of dealing with that breathing through it, or whatever it is that you do that makes you feel better because eight of pentacles you deserve something here you deserve something and i think i feel like you know it and you might have known it for a while and you might not have been speaking up about it page of voices in the night of emotions could be about your love life now night of emotions is movement forward in romance page of voices someone that you've been looking at for a while i was feeling that that with these four cards for some of you this is about telling someone how you feel and being brave about that and just putting yourself out there if, if you're like having this Mexican standoff with someone you're both looking at each other eyes lighting up at each other but neither of you are actually making that move night of emotions is about forward movement so it feels like you're going to be the one to do that you know what it is that you deserve right and so it might just be shooting your shot and putting yourself out there and telling them we seem to like each other is this going to happen or not there's unlimited possibilities that come from that could go either way right it could go either way but it's going to bring a change so take the helm be in control of your own ship nine of swords but there will be anxiety for sure like nobody n nobody can be courageous without there being that anxiety like everyone has it you'd have to be a psychopath not to be right you wouldn't even be human anyway ten of voices hang muse yeah this is why we have that anxiety right because the pain it's like well what if it goes wrong and what if like this it's weird between us then and like it makes work weird or you know what if it what if it like ends and i'll lose my job and so the anxiety could be causing you to try and change your mind about it and, and be focused more on the the what if what if goes terribly wrong it's always a possibility right there's truth behind that well it could <laughs> it could but we terrorize ourselves when we play the what if game and then we focus on the the worst thing that could happen don't we anyway knight of pentacles take it slowly why have we got to take it slowly because slow and steady wins the race the lovers okay so if if we are talking here if for you this whole energy is surrounding a romantic situation and you're telling your feelings take it slowly that it doesn't mean like you tell your feelings and they're like oh yeah okay let's let's get together straight away there's changes there's something that needs there's changes that need to happen take those changes slowly so uh, yeah it, it could be that something starts off or they want to talk to you about it or whatever and I don't think you're going to get all of your answers I don't think you're going to get if it's a romantic situation for you that I'm talking about I don't think they're going to reciprocate straight away they might be like, like okay well let's get together and talk about this or something like that you know and and that could leave you in this I still don't know but at least I've got the ball rolling you know and that's probably where the temperance comes about then because that that could be when you get the anxiety and then it's like oh no they're going to tell me like now you've made everything really awkward <laughs> you know uh, high priestess oh back to the intuition again we had the intuition already so yeah manage yourself through this because it could be a scary such a scary situation ah okay still good to be courageous you know don't let this put you off it's all good it's all good it is all good whatever that means I mean the guides say it's all good when we've got a great big no in front of us sometimes you know but it is all good and we've got to trust our path and we've got to trust you know the guidance that we're getting and if we're learning lessons along the way it's the right lessons to learn too 
often what we really want, right, is just to have the good stuff, <laughs> just the rewards without the lessons. It's like, how can I dodge the lessons here? But we can't, that's the thing. It's all part of the journey and it is all good, really. Even though we're being put through the ringer as we experience this. What about our love lives? Tell us more. It's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now's the time to give to yourself. So you might have a little bit of a wait once you put yourself out there and tell your feelings. What else? Breathe through the tension. Yeah, just manage yourself through this. <laughs> or be brave, you know? Just think, these are the energies that are around today. You've probably got like at least 20 other sisters going through this, doing this same thing, so allies let's all do it together let's go there let's be brave and tell them how we feel i think it's been coming for a while i just heard it's been coming for a while rejection mm, but what if what if they reject me self-worth know what you deserve and communication it's time to communicate it anyway it's better than the not knowing isn't it it's better than the not knowing Whenever we don't want to say something, we're actually terrorizing ourselves. We're causing a very stressful situation in, inside of ourselves. Stress is stress. Um, I've seen it when I was a neurotherapist, the stress that people put themselves through, just through little things like not telling me that there's a glare on a window. And I, I'm looking at their EEG, the brain. What's going on in the brain, but not in a weird way. I can't see like pictures and stuff. But their EEG, the electrical activity, and I can see that they're really stressed out. Just for, for not saying something like, the sunlight's bothering me, the glare on the window is bothering me. And so think, if, if you're not telling someone your feelings, how much stress you're putting yourself under, we need to express ourselves. And we need to make it okay to express ourselves in the moment, whatever happens. Whichever way it goes, it's better than holding on to that stress. So you might need to realize the stress involved in not doing it and not saying it true love and old wounds this could be true love too but old wounds are stopping you from going there Yay. okay it's time to face it it's time to face something today be brave what else is in the energies today we've got a door opportunities are waiting for you we've got an older woman We've got an egg, success assured with good plans and hard work, and torch, spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. Okay, so think of a yes or no answer question because I've got a red and a green crystal in this bag. I'm going to pull one of them out very shortly for our answer, but it's just a bit of fun because this is a general reading, not a personal reading. If you want me to pull crystals out of my bag and cards out of my decks for specific questions that you've got, you can do one or two things. One of two things, either book in for a one question reading on my website, behealing.com. Find a link for that in the description box below and also up there too. Or a full private reading if you've got many questions, if you want a lot of detail about a specific thing that's going on in your life, book yourself in for one of those or if it needs to be private. There's a link in the description box below and also up there too for that. Get those out within 48 hours if you're ordering them. So how best to deal with these energies today? We've got the lovers, we've got the king of wands, take action. The king of wands goes for what it is that they want. And we're talking about lovers. Lovers can be a choice too. It doesn't have to be. I mean, I think for a lot of you, this is going to be about a romantic situation where you just need to be brave and, and, and tell them. King of wands takes action. They claim what it is that they want. It doesn't always go their way, but at least they sh shot their shot. Think of a yes or no answer question now. Pause the video if you're not ready for your answer. Why did I close this bag? Your answer is? No. Don't do it. There you go. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click like. Before you click off down there, click that subscribe button. If you're new, leave a comment. That'll get you an entry into the prize draw for a free reading with me at the end of the month. I do one of these today's tarot every single day of the year. I go live three times a week in my Psychic Cafe show. Come along sometime. I'd love to see you in there. And I make three Love Picker card reads a week as well. You can find one of those right there, right now. Watch that next if you want. Well, have the best day ever. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.